Okay, I just got my Remington Wet Tech 100% waterproof foil shaver in the mail. I'm a big fan of foil shavers now. So I'm just going to unbox it real quick for you, and I'm pretty sure I'll have to charge it. There's the charger, so it looks like a pretty basic setup. And usually, you don't even have to read the instructions, you should be able to just plug it in and get it charging. So, do that real quick. Got a little bit of slack in the uh, razor. You mean the charging cord? There you go. I didn't even have to read the instructions and it's charging, so I'll be back when it's charged and I'll give you a live demonstration. Okay, the, this Remington uh, wet guard razor or whatever it's called comes with the, uh, it's called like a stubble guard so that you can actually, if you don't want to sh shave close to the skin and you want to leave a little bit of stubble, you can use this. So I'm going to try it out real quick and see how it goes. As you can see, it, it leaves quite a bit of stubble, so uh, not too happy with the stubble guard. It just leaves a little bit too much. It just doesn't get down close enough, and it's not adjustable. Um, it only comes in one size, so. Okay, now I'm going to try it without the uh, stubble guard. It looks to me like to clean it, you just pop it right off. Not much in there yet. So it is very clean and now I'm gonna see how it does regularly. The instructions did say to move in small circular motion, so. Did say not to press too hard against your skin with this, and not to press hard really at all. But and that was to avoid damaging the uh, tin foil razors. Uh, even without moving in a uh, circular motion, you can tell it's really making it baby smooth so far so i'm actually pretty impressed so far
There you have it. I'm pretty impressed so far. I got it really smooth. I mean, this is the best tin foil razor I've used so far. I got it almost as close as the uh, a razor handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and switch over to the other side. Okay, here we are on the other side of my face. See how it goes. Well, I'm definitely a fan of Remington now. You can, it's just really shaving it really smooth. I'm just going in the small, slow, circular motions, like it said in the instructions. Even here on my mustache where it's kind of hard to go in circular motions, you can go straight and slow. I'm barely having to push on the skin. On the other side, I just barely push too hard around my lip here and the razors in this thing are so strong that it just barely nicked me right there. It's like I just barely nicked myself again. You really just barely have to push down with this razor, so I'm actually pretty impressed so far. Even without going in the circular motions there underneath my chin where it's kind of awkward, it's still shaving it really smooth. Without barely even having to push down. Well, there you have it. Just uh, this is definitely the best electric razor I've used so far for uh, my face. It's just uh, barely have to push down, and it really shaves it really, really very smooth. So it doesn't get much better than that. Let me try out the uh, beard trimmer real quick, just to see how strong it is. Just do it on my chest real quick. It's really doing a good job as well. You can see that bare spot there. It's getting it really smooth. So, uh, 
there you go. I'm just um, going to have to keep this one. Never used a Remington razor before, but uh, I really like this one. I'm probably going to keep it.